I actually never thought I would be a chef because I learned law in the university. It's something like accident. So one day I saw the magazine, then someone made sashimi. Then I freeze when I saw the picture. It looks beautiful. Hello, I'm Taro Takayama, executive chef at Takayama Japanese restaurant in downtown gallery. I totally don't know about culinary scene in Japan before I joined culinary school. So once I joined culinary school, I start part time in famous couple restaurant in Osaka. It's called Kigawa Asai. Then after graduate culinary school, I joined Kashiwaya, which got a three Michelin star in Osaka. Then I worked there around four years. So once I got enough skill, then I applied to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Normally, I just cook for ambassador and his family and his guests. After that, I moved to a Mandarin Orchard Hotel as a chef de cuisine. Two years after, yeah, I set up this restaurant. In Japan, when I work in kitchen, was like uh, army. So everyone follow the boss. My boss passed me the scale. So everything need to measure before I cut. 5 cm is 5 cm, not 5.1 cm. But you know, in Singapore and Japan, it's a bit different, right? They already finished national service. So I don't want force them to just exactly follow me like army. When I came here, actually I had a lot of culture shock. It's culture difference, also the taste also a bit different. What they like, what they don't like. So I think they doesn't like salty level as Japanese. They love more body. So I need to figure out my strictly Japanese palate to a bit Singaporeanized taste. So when I was in Japan, I always go to fish market to pick some ingredients for the day. But here, my hardworking supplier, they always text to me what they could find in the fish market. Not even only the Tokyo. So they from Hokkaido, Osaka, as well as Kyushu. I want to show how much unique ingredients Japan has. So our restaurant concept is uh, open kitchen, Osaka style kappo. The word of kappo is actually came from two words, cuts and po. The cut is cut, the po is cooked. So during the service, we serve fresh fish and cook something. The menu is omakase, it's up to me. So means it have to be trust between chef and guests. Of course, I discuss with the guests about dietary restriction, everything. I don't serve everyone the same thing, so it depends on the guests. We need to know each other. Then it's more personalized item. That's why we don't have menu. So I just talk to them very friendly. Then I introduce myself. Then also I introduce our cooking style. Then what we have today. Then once they're ready, we prepare for the course. I think in Singapore, omakase is getting more popular. Why do you think omakase is getting more popular? It's good. <laughs> So if you've never been to Takayama before, maybe you feel shocked because my omakase is not like any other omakase. It's quite unique, then quite enjoyable. I try to joke with everyone. And they enjoy it? Yeah, they enjoy it. Yeah, I hope. 